What's up guys? It's week 5 and you are just in time for today's video. We're going to be talking about my 100%. I'm so confident. Also, I might just be guessing plays of the week. Let's jump right into it. The streaming quarterback options this week, you have a couple of options. If you've been playing Anthony Richardson, God bless you. But you never know, there are some guys who drafted him early and then drafted the back of quarterback, so they've been having a plan. You can stream Joe Flacco this week. He's playing the Jags at home, which is a top 5 worst team in the NFL. They give up points in bunches. You can trust Joe Flacco. He has Josh Downs healthy, added on Mitchell, Michael Pittman. His weapons are all healthy. He doesn't have JT, but it's going to be a running back by committee with Trey Sermon and Tyler Goodson. That doesn't really matter. Joe Flacco is going to sling the ball, play him with confidence. If you don't want to get too spicy and you don't want to play Joe Flacco, you can stream Brock Purdy in which should be a shootout. He has all those weapons, and this is going to be a shootout, so play Brock Purdy with confidence. At the running back position, he hasn't really given you any blow games so far, but I think this could be a big week with Najee Harris. You got Cordell Patterson out. You got Jalen Warren out. Obviously, he's getting the bulk of the carries as it is. He's getting anywhere between 15 and 20 carries, but I think he can be close to 30 touches in this game, and even if he doesn't have the efficiency with that type of volume, you really can't lose. Play Najee Harris with confidence. At the wide receiver position, Give me Jerry Judy. You might not think Jerry Judy is the wide receiver one for the Cleveland Browns, but you're wrong. Look at the stats. For whatever reason, Deshaun Watson is not looking at Mark Cooper's way. I don't know if it's because of the drops or they just don't have any chemistry. Whatever the case, it doesn't really matter. Jerry Judy is the wide receiver one for Cleveland Browns. He's going to show it this week. Play him with confidence. At the tight end position, I'm going to go Tucker Craft. At this point, he's no longer a sleeper pick and he's no longer a sneaky pick. He should be forced into your lineup, especially with the tight end position in the state of in the state of uncertainty as it is right now. You got Romeo Dobbs out. You got Christian Watson out. Jordan Love is going to have a target funnel with Tucker Craft, Dontavian Wicks, and Jaden Reed. So if you have Tucker Craft, play him with confidence. Some of the players that I hate this week at the quarterback position, the quarterback who is leading the league in touchdown passes, Sam Darnold. If you're going to play him, I'm not saying he's going to give you a dud because we've seen throughout the season that he has a high floor, but he's playing the Jets defense, which in itself is a task. But they're also playing overseas in London, which are always ugly games, terrible field condition. You got Sauce Gardner on Justin Jefferson, which is his main target. Yes, he's going to have Jordan Addison. Yes, he has Jaden Naylor. But temper expectations for Sam Darnold this week. I doubt some of you guys are having to play him. But I got to mention Andy Dalton. He's been on a hot streak ever since he started. He's got Deontay Johnson as a top five wide receiver the last few weeks. But temper your expectations with Andy Dalton. He's playing the Bears, who does have a good defense. But I don't even know why I'm wasting my time because you're not playing Andy Dalton. But you never know. At the running back position, again, the same matchup in which I spoke about with Sam Darnold. This is going to be an ugly game. I see it being a low scoring, you know, 14 to 10 type game. So Aaron Jones is going to struggle. He is hitting on his efficiency. But again, I don't think he's going to get the volume. I don't think he's going to have the big plays in this game. I'm not saying sitting. I'm not saying you have to sit Aaron Jones. But if you have a better option with more upside, who you feel confident in, play him. If you have to play Aaron Jones, temper your expectation. At the wide receiver position, who would thought I would say this coming to week five? But Tyreek Hill. Again, you're probably not going to sit him unless you have guys who you might have traded for or you have guys on the bench who has high upside like a Don Tavian Wick. Chances are you have to play Tyreek Hill. Again, temper your expectations. You're going to have to play Tyreek Hill, but at the very least, temper your expectations. Maybe Tyler Huntley can get this offense started, but at the same time, he is playing the Patriots who are going to lock in on Tyreek Hill. The tight ends that I hate this week are the Ravens tight ends. I'm talking about Mark Andrews and Isaiah Likely. Neither one is playable at this point. You really can't have confidence in starting either option until you see someone take control of the snap share, and I don't see that happening anytime soon. They're winning ball games. They found their identity. This is what they're going to be doing for the rest of the season. If you drafted Mark Andrews, I'm sorry to say this, but he's droppable. Isaiah Likely at least had the big play of potential. My sneaky plays of the week at the quarterback position, I'm going to go with Deshaun Watson versus the Commanders. Just like I said with Jerry Judy, he is playing the Washington Commanders who, who has forced himself into the top five offensive conversation, but the defense is still pretty bad. I can see this being a shootout. Should be getting a handful of offensive linemen back who is healthy. Give Deshaun Washington time. He should be able to find his playmakers. At the running back position, Trey Sherman. Joe Flacco is going to take command of this Colts offense and he's going to have them firing on all cylinders. He's going to be able to push the ball, which is going to lead to some goal line work and some red zone potential for Trey Sherman. He has a high floor. He's going to get a workhorse role. I don't see him giving you, you know, 25 to 30 points, but if you need a safe RB2 or even a flex option, you can play Trey Sherman with confidence. At the wide receiver position, give me Keon Coleman. You have Kalir Shakir out. 
You're playing against the Texans, top five offense in the NFL. There's going to be a lot of back and forth. It's going to be a high scoring game. The Bills and the Texans both have great defenses, but I doubt they're going to be able to stop each other's offenses. So I can see a lot of points being scored and you want pieces in this game. So again, at the wide receiver position, a sneaky start is Keon Coleman. And last but not least, at the tight end position, give me Cole Komet. This Bears offense has not really been one that you want pieces of. Caleb Williams is still having his rookie woes and we haven't really seen him put it together yet. But at the end of the day, they're playing the Panthers. And again, at the tight end position, anyone with a pulse is viable. You really just want someone who's not going to give it a zero. Cole Komet will not give you a zero this week. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.